there were tens of thousands of fans that had backed into the Fuji Speedway for Dream Race 2 on the Sunday of this Dream Race weekend with Super GT and DTM together. Lloyd Duval inherited pole position because Daisuke Nakajima took a grid drop of five places. Rennie Rast was all smiles ahead of the start of the race and uh, Narain Carter Kane also looking quietly confident as well. Look at the flags flying in the grandstands as the appreciative and passionate fans awaited the 55 minutes plus one lap of DTM and Super GT together. As the lights went green, what a race was going to ensue if only we knew what drama would unfold ahead of us. Lloyd Duval did manage to make it through turn number one and held on to P1, but he was going to be under pressure from Noreen carter Kane, who you can see from being on board with Yamamoto now, was uh, pushing his luck around the outside of Lloyd Duval. He lit up his brake discs. Such was the braking force going into turn number one, but he got the overtake done. So it was... Lloyd Duval, who sadly was losing out also to the number 16 car of uh, Daisuke Nakajima. Narain Kartikeyan escaping up the road. Marco Vittman and Rene Rast were having a really good ding-dong battle for P5 in the race as well. And Marco Vittman here using the perfect line through turn number one and just making sure Rene had got no room to come back at him. And Marco wasn't done with that, as you can see, putting himself on the inside of the uh, Daisuke Nakajima car and advantaging himself by one further place. Disaster befell Rene Rast, and this would cause one of a number of safety cars. He had to try and nurse that car back uh, to the uh, pit lane. Lloyd Duval had also suffered the same fate, and here, as they run through the debris, engaged in a battle with Kamui Kobayashi, who was certainly getting his elbows out and uh, actually pushing uh, Lloyd onto the uh, runoff area. There would then be yet more dramas as cars were spinning and taking avoiding action. And that wouldn't be the last of the uh, spinners, as we can see that in replay. And it was really, really unfortunate for uh, James Rossiter, who completely unsighted had uh, no alternative but to run into the back of that AU car. Just one of three or four that were involved in that little incident come the end of the race. And on the final lap, B2 and B3 was being contested by Marco Vittman and Loic Duval. Narain Kadakayan, after another restart, had managed to hold on to the lead, but who would be P2? Who would be P3? Well, Loic Duval would cross the line in P2, but he would pick up a one second time penalty for squeezing Marco Vittman, so Marco Vittman would actually take P2 and Loic Duval would be relegated to P3, but Narain Kadakayan was most definitely the winner and delighted with that as well. All three of them taking the photographs and of course from here they made it up onto the podium to conclude an absolutely brilliant dream race.